Hi, welcome to Mountain Road Life. I'm Kristen and this is my husband Vion. Hey. <laughs> and today we are making coffee. And uh, full disclosure, I actually gave up drinking coffee a little over two months ago. Unfortunately, I missed it a little bit. But um, if you want to read up on why I stopped drinking coffee, you can check that out in the blog post. Um, but Vion still drinks it every day, twice a day. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to talk today about how he makes it. We'll run through the whole process and also share with you the secret ingredient that makes his coffee taste way better than any other coffee we've had worldwide. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to wait a little bit on what that secret ingredient is. That's right. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Yep, let's get started. Okay, so you can see we've got all our goodies spread out on the table in front of us. Mm -hmm. So you'll need a coffee machine. Um, I specifically like the espresso type so that it can really like extract that flavor mm -hmm. from the ground coffee. And uh, speaking of ground coffee, you'll need some way to grind your coffee beans. Um, and that's also something that I would re definitely recommend is, you know, to keep your coffee as fresh as possible. Start with the whole bean, you know, um, and then if you can, grind it yourself. You obviously do get those pre-ground um, coffee bags as well. But uh, just to keep it as fresh as possible, I like to grind mine right before I actually use it. So that's what we've got over here. We've got a mug. We've got a... Uh, Thermometer. A thermometer <laughs> <laughs> um, to measure the temperature of the milk. Um, our little coffee press here to push it into the capsule. You'll see me use that in a minute. Um, some nice fresh filtered water. That's also a very important ingredient since the majority of your cup of coffee actually consists of water. You want some good quality water as well. So nice filtered mm -hmm. water there. There's our coffee beans that I explained and then at the end, I will add in just one teaspoon of honey. So and that's not the secret ingredient. Not the secret ingredient, no. <laughs> so I like to just sweeten up my cup. Um, instead of using uh, sugar, I will opt for honey. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we've got some of the used grounds that we've uh, used in the past. Um, and Kristen, maybe you can explain why you like to keep these as uh, for the garden. Yeah, so Vian, uh, whenever he's uh, taking out the old... Uh, grounds, then he will put it into that container and then eventually once it fills up then we'll take it to the compost and that's just really good and nourishing for the vegetables or for the plants. Yep, so. exactly. So let's start with the first step and that is just to remove the um, old grounds. You can see this is from a previous cup of coffee this morning. So I'm going to just take that out and this is what we said, you know, what I do is I just like tap it in there and dump it in there and then uh, we've got the ground coffee that we can then use in the garden. Yep. Okay, so we've got all our stuff set out and now the first step is to grind the beans. So let's get started and get that going. <laughs> cool, so uh, we've got the beans grinded and I've got my little container that can slide out here. Now, just just smell this, like for a non-coffee drinker. Mm -hmm. This this is the biggest torture part for Kristen yep. each morning it is when, so good. whenever I uh, uh. grind these beans in the morning, this this is like the way she gets her caffeine. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Vian uses Ethiopian beans from Trader Joe's and they are organic and fair trade and pretty much that's like the only thing you ever use. Yeah, I've tried a bunch of other beans, but this, your favorite. this is still the one that I gravitate towards yeah. um, and just come back to each time. So mm -hmm. love this bean and uh, it really tastes very nice. So what we now need to do is just get our uh, espresso machine set up. So what I like to do is first just get the water in there so mine opens up at the top and I can get that fresh filter water in there. Alright, so first step done, we've got our water in there. Now next I need to just get my coffee grinds into the little capsule. For that I'll use just a few scoops that I put in here. Really fill up this capsule and give it a strong flavor mm -hmm. and I can really just press it in there make sure that um, I get it really layered in there the grounds are now firmly pressed into the capsule and I can just drop that capsule into the handle and screw the handle into the machine itself so we're all set now next up we'll need a mug 
goes in underneath the machine and whoop, on it goes. And now we'll just wait until the coffee starts pouring into the mug. Mm -hmm. And then we got to get to our special secret ingredient, right? right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is our special ingredient. Um, why don't you explain what that is? All right, so this might just look like regular old milk, but it is actually raw milk, which is a controversial topic here in the United States. And uh, go ahead, and if you want to find out more about why it's controversial, check out the blog post, and we'll kind of explain all of that in the blog post. It's a little bit difficult to get raw milk, depending on which state that you live in. Where we live, we actually have to sign up for a herd share uh, with a local dairy and uh, they actually deliver their milk to one of our neighbors and then we go and pick up the milk from their garage and uh, yeah it's a prized possession in our home we love our raw milk it is delicious and we've been drinking it for the last four years and it is really the secret ingredient for a wonderful incredible like full and rich latte yeah yeah, the creaminess of this milk and just the, the additional, if you really do your research on raw milk, it contains a higher level of protein. And so that, in combination with your coffee, just, you know, helps also to, to sort of uh, smooth out that blood sugar crash that you might get from drinking coffee otherwise. Which is still my problem. I still have a, you know, <laughs> as I said, you know, I don't, I'm not drinking it anymore. I was... Vian was kind enough to share some of his coffee with me mm -hmm. through the years. Um, I would just take sips of his morning coffee. But uh, yeah, I get, I still get really sensitive to caffeine, even with the raw milk. But for people who are able to drink caffeine, this is an awesome thing to add. Yep, so let's get into how we use it in our uh, coffee making process. I'm going to add some into my pitch over here, and I know more or less where I need to fill it to. By now, to have absolute zero waste, we don't want to waste any of this good milk. <laughs> and so now, next over, we can go to the steaming portion on the machine. Um, and I will just move the mug out of the way for now. So you might have a better view of what is going to happen now of the steamer. So first of all, I need to just purchase a little bit. There's some stuck in some and old milk that might be stuck in that little steaming rod so you want to make sure that that's cleaned out and you want to do all. it with caution as well make yes, sure that you're not so going to burn yourself you can see that I used a, a little towel here, a paper towel just to protect my hand and now we dip it in there and this is also where my little thermometer can come in because now what you want is you want that milk temperature at just the right level Roughly around 140 degrees Fahrenheit or say 60 to 70 degrees Celsius is where you want the, to heat the milk up to. Um, now there's a whole process to how you want to steam this milk to ensure that you get that nice micro foam. You don't want all the bubbles. So you only want to let the air in for the first few seconds and after that you dip the the wand in a little bit further and it breaks down that air with a current and then that way you form the microfoam. So I've got my milk heated up to that temperature that I wanted. I can tap it on the table or on my device here a little bit just to, to knock out a little bit more extra of the, the air bubbles that have got trapped in there. And then it's a case of just pouring it in now. This is uh, still a part of the coffee making process that I need to perfect. I'm not at the point yet where I can make those nice latte art mm -hmm. pictures and stuff. So still doesn't quite look the part <laughs> of a, say a coffee shop um, latte, but it tastes much Amazing. better. Yeah. So that is the big thing. And then as we mentioned in the beginning, the, the last part of my process is just to add a little bit of honey um, into my coffee mug and then uh, we have our coffee finished. So this is where the latte art would in any way go away. So that's, right. that's why I don't bother too much with making it nice and fancy. <laughs> um, my stomach won't know the difference. <laughs> if it looked nice to begin with as long as it tastes good which it does so. <laughs> <laughs> all right 
All right, so there's the beautiful cup of coffee mm -hmm. with the wonderful raw milk. Yes, and the secret ingredient that takes our regular standard coffee just that little bit further. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and so if you want to find out more about raw milk, go ahead and check out the link in the description below with the blog post, and that'll have more info for you. And hopefully this video will help you to think about how to make coffee yourself and really elevate it up to the next level. And by doing so, you can actually save a ton of money. There mm -hmm. is, you know, there obviously you have to get some good equipment and there's an investment involved, but it's worth it. Yeah, at the end of the day, you know, you don't have to hop on over to your local coffee shop just to get a really good cup of coffee and you've got the convenience of having at home um, and now I think now with so many people working from home these days um, you know if you have access to this you've got the good stuff right there and yeah. you don't have to drive anywhere to get a really nice cup of coffee yeah and with this process you act you also have control over every step of the process that's you right know? you know if you want to add a lot more honey or a lot less honey or more milk, less milk, steam it more, more frothy, less frothy. You can obviously fine tune your preferences as much as you like. Yeah. All right, well, we hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. If so, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to this channel, which is Mountain Road Life, as well as Vion's channel, Mountain Road Ride, yep. if you're into cycling mm -hmm. and fitness. <laughs> yeah, this is how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. All right. Bye. Let's try this. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>